Hey guys, today we are going to build this beautiful alert. Uh, we have four different themes just like you saw in the thumbnail. I will show you how to add those things during the development. Let's get it started. Alright, I'm gonna create a new component called app alert. You can see I have created a folder called app alert and I added the TSS file and the style file. Now I'm gonna connect the style sheet to the TSX file. I'm gonna add a class name called container. In that container I have one div for the icon, one p tag for the title, one span for the close icon. Now I'm gonna add the success icon. Now let's add the functionality. I have get the open prop as a boolean and I have get the the set to open pro it is the set state action all right now i'm gonna open this div if the open value is true if not i'm gonna render an empty tag all right now i'm gonna import it inside the app tsx i already added a button when i click the button it changed the value of the show alert variable so i will pass that value and set state action to the app alert component all right now let's check the application you can see the alert is showing now we have to design it inside this app i'm gonna add the container we have to add this container on the top of the screen also it should be fixed so first i'm gonna add position fixed now i'm gonna add these elements in a row to do that i'm gonna add a display flex to the style i have added a line item center it will center all the elements in a row i'm gonna add a gap of 15 pixel now it will create a gap all right now i have to add the box shadow now box shadow is added. I'm gonna add the height 30 pixel and border radius 15 pixel. Let's change the box shadow color a bit. Now it looks cool. It should be border radius. All right. Now I have added icon container in here. Let's add a fix width and height to that one. I'm gonna add width and height 25 pixel. Also I'm gonna add border radius 50% because I wanna make it a circle. You can see the tick icon now is in the top. We have to center it. I have added display flex and justify content center and align item center to make that tick center. You can see it works. So we want this same thing to the close button. Now you can see the close icon has the same thing. Now I want to add the background color to this tick. It should be border radius now it is a circle also i have to add the padding from left and right to do that i'm gonna add padding in line 5x now padding is working i'm gonna add icon color to white to do that i'm gonna add icon here and color white now it is in white color all right now i have to add the cursor pointer to the close icon now when I hover the close icon it gives a pointer. Let's increase the font size of that one. 18 is good right? Okay. Let's design the title. Font size 14 pixel and color. Alright. It looks cool now. When I click this button it just open and when I click it again it just close away. Instead of that let's add an animation. It will come from the top. Alright. To do that I'm gonna add animation. I'm gonna name it duration i'm gonna add two seconds and i'm gonna add ease out all right let's add the animation when it is zero percent i'm gonna add top minus 20 pixel capacity zero scale zero when it is in 100 percent i'm gonna add opacity one scale one and top 20 pixel let's see how it works see it comes from the top now it looks cool right after we add the alert we have to make it automatically close because we don't want to close it by ourselves right we just have to add two second delay so after two seconds this should be disappear okay also i have added the close icon if i click this icon it should disappear also let's add those functionalities i'm gonna add the close functionality to the close button I'm gonna make the alert automatically close within two seconds. To do that, I'm gonna get the use effect hook. Inside the use effect, I'm gonna create a set timeout function. I'm gonna add two seconds for that one. After two seconds, this function will be executed. Therefore, after two seconds, I'm gonna set the open value to false. All right, after two seconds, this functionality will be executed. 
but this is not optimized yet we have to clear the timeout when the component is unmounted to do that i'm gonna get clear timeout and pass the timeout variable usefet isn't completed yet i have to pass dependencies props dot open and props dot set open if we didn't pass these dependencies first time it will work in the second time it won't work okay so let's check the application now when i click it it opens after two seconds it disappears also when i click it and go to close icon click it it disappears now success alert is working let's add the themes to do that i'm gonna get a props called theme theme can be four different types according to this one we're gonna render the style to do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pass the theme here okay now i'm gonna go to app.tss file and add the theme you can get all the types from the intelligence i'm gonna add success so now in the props dot theme we get four different types like this but it is not in the classes okay so what we can do is we can inherit a style from this class i'm gonna add success i'm gonna extend dot content okay now i'm gonna add icon container background to this one. okay now it looks the same this is what we call CSS inheritance. This is the parent class. This is the child class. From this line, I'm gonna get all the styles, all the CSS content that we added, including the keyframe. I'm gonna add those things into the success container, okay? In this success class, we have everything. After that, I'm gonna modify only the icon container background color. In this way, I can modify the given styles. I'm gonna create classes for other themes as well. Now let's go to the app component and change the theme. If I fail, it gives the failure one. So we haven't had the icon yet. Let's add those icon. I'm gonna get this theme from the prop like this. Now I'm gonna remove this props dot. Okay, so I'm gonna add this icon now. All right, I have to import these icons from the React icon package. Now all the icons have added. Let's test the fail alert. This is the bone style. This is the info style. All right, that's the end of the video. You can use this functionality in any project, any way you want. Modify it the way you want. Now you know how to create an alert component. See you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a nice day.